Hello everyone, this is Lena and today I decided to show you some of my artworks from 2018. I hope you will like it, leave a comment and thumbs up if you do. Now you can see a uh, first artwork. I really like this, this drawing. I wanted to draw a girl in a summer mood, summer theme. So as you can see, I dressed uh, up her in a pina colada shirt and she's also holding a pineapple drink. This one is from my Inktober challenge uh, and I really like it. I used uh, ink. Uh, it's not uh, watercolor or other uh, paint, it, it's these are ink from Windsor and Newton. And here you can see Inktober number four, and the theme was hobby. So, as you can see, these are art supplies. This one is a fan art, and probably you don't recognize it because it's a Polish channel. Uh, names uh, Grupa Filmowa Darwin. So I don't know, maybe they have subtitles in English. Maybe you can check them out. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Oh, that was a hard one. <laughs> really hard uh, exercise. It was a challenge. As you can see, 25 expressions uh, challenge, which was pretty popular on YouTube in last year. I made it without uh, using uh, reference photos and that's why I guess it was pretty hard to do. These are some fashion sketches which I made using uh, references, photo references uh, from fashion store. Uh, I really like um, illustrating fashion. I am also a fashion designer. I I am not really proud of this one. Uh, I think I can uh, I could make it uh, looks better. It was a challenge where I used all of my Sharpie markers. CMYK palette. I love these colors. I love this color palette and in 2018 I was using it like a lot. This is a portrait of Rikarin from Instagram. I will leave a link in the description to her Instagram because I think it's pretty inspirational. Oh this one I made uh, using scroller box supplies uh, and it's uh, as you can see in a little manga style, comic style. I really like it. I really like this these colors. For the coloring I used alcohol-based markers from Scroller Box. Oh, I like this one, especially because I didn't use any reference photo for creating this, so I think it's pretty good and I really like blending on this one. Uh, it was made with uh, alcohol-based markers, I guess it was a Pro Marker or Copix. Maybe I, I used both of them. This is a girl from Instagram. She also have a YouTube channel. It's Noemi Sparkle, which I love to draw. And as you can see, this is also her. And I don't know, I will leave a link in the description box to her Instagram because I think she's pretty inspirational. Oh, I like this one. This one is really cute in kind of manga style and uh, here I used also uh, watercolors and color pencils. CMYK color palette made my 2018. I love this color palette and you will see in other my, on other my artworks in this video that CMYK took my 2018 literally. Oh, I really like this one. It's so, so different from my uh, style, I guess, but I really like it. I made it using clean color real brushes from Kuretake. It's really delicate and also I really like that it's in a square. This one is interesting. It's uh, the same portrait. Uh, I used here a set from Reeves. It's a basic set for drawing and painting. I made it using watercolors from this set and free color pencils. And I wanted to show here that even if you don't have many art supplies, you can create something, you know, different. CMYK! As you can see, I really liked it. I really like how it pops from the paper. 
it looks stunning it looks so juicy and uh, here on this artwork i didn't uh, made a sketch i started from uh, adding these white spots using a uh, masking liquid then i made first layer of painting with a uh, Kuretake Clean Color Real Brush. It's a really hard name to pronounce for me. And the details I made using color pencils. Oh, this one is from Inktober. My Inktober uh, from 2018 uh, ends like on 5th or 6th of October. Uh, but I really like this one and it's Inktober first, uh, which is which uh, in my list. Here we have Inktober number 3 and the theme was elf and i was using here inks color inks to kind of paint it and i didn't i didn't know how to use them so it ended up like this but still i kind of like it jinx it's jinx from league of legends and i made her using color pencils what i really like on this drawing it's the gradient outline these are some sketches from my mini sketchbook and I used here watercolors, also metallic and pearl ones and I wanted to keep it in one color palette. I don't know if all of the sketchbook will be like that, but these few artworks was in this particular color palette and I really like it. Another sketchbook from 2018 is a SMLT one and I really love it. I love the paper inside. And I didn't draw anything on the first page because I was so scared. It will, you know, it will be awful and I don't want to ruin that first page. But on the second page, I think this drawing is pretty good. So I guess I, I, I shouldn't be so scared about it. Oh, this one is really good. I think it's really good. I really like the color palette. I used here a water-based markers from Karin. Oh, it's a vibrant one. I used here a Kuretake Clean Color Real Brushes. And I love how they work with a water brush. Sailor Moon. And here we have also Kuretake Clean Color Real Brushes. I really like them and I used them a lot in 2018. Oh, it's a simple one, but uh, I think it looks pretty, pretty great. Uh, I used here water-based markers from Karin and a Mangaka Black Liner. I didn't finish this one. Uh, it, this is a color palette that I don't use a lot. That's why I chose it. This one is for, from Draw This In Your Style Challenge. And I took uh, a drawing from uh, Srebrna Igwa, which is a Polish artist, and I redraw it in my style. This one I like a lot, and not only because it's a CMYK color palette, but also I really like it because it's a 10 minute drawing. And it was a challenge, and I think it came out great. That's it! Thank you guys for watching, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment if you like these artworks, which one is your favorite from 2018 and I hope we will see again soon in next videos. Bye guys!